Okay, so uh, today's quick video on car repair is how to test a uh, a coil pack that you think may have gone out. Now in this car, the uh, symptoms were rough idle and at a red light or a stop sign whenever you release the brake pedal before stepping on the accelerator, the car would like to chug before uh, it increased in speed and the RPMs went up. So, um, obviously that can be due to bad plugs. Let's see if this camera will focus here. So, I don't know, this, uh, not wanting to focus right now, sorry guys, but, um, those plugs were overdue, so I swapped them out, but, uh, I did run the codes, if you don't have a code reader, um, they're pretty cheap, you can buy them used for cheap, or you can buy them new for not, not all that much either, um, you can get a halfway decent one for under a hundred bucks, that'll do most things you need, um, so I did plug in the code reader. It told me that cylinder three had a misfire. And on this engine, cylinder three is this uh, back one here. You can see the green little spots there where we got one under this valve cover. There's three more. So we got two, three, four, five, and six. And this was uh, the bad coil. So if I unplug this here, um, if, if the coil is bad, uh, the engine won't change in RPMs. If the coil is good, the engine will drop in RPMs. You want to do this test while the engine is running uh, so you can see if it's actually being affected when it's being disconnected. Um, and there's two parts to this. Um, obviously, uh, when the engine is running, you want to uh, disconnect one just momentarily to see if there's a change in engine speed. And if there is, then you know the coil is working and it's actually firing. If there is not a change, then it's not firing and it's not working and there's no uh, there's no power getting through there. There's something wrong with that cylinder, uh, with the firing in that cylinder. Um, so as soon as you have uh, located your dead cylinder, um, I'm going to do that for you guys really quick. I'll show you the, the difference, what it sounds like when you're actually doing this. So we'll start the car, make sure it's in uh, park, park and brake on, and we'll just start it. It's idling, and if I unplug a bad coil, this is what happens. Absolutely nothing. Plug it back in, doesn't do much either. Take it back out, nothing. So, if the coil is actually working and you unplug it, this is what you'll notice. See how it drops? And when I plug it back in, it comes back up. Pull it out again. Nothing really good and tight. Doesn't want to come out right now. Alright, it's not coming out right now. Um, but anyway, if you heard the engine drop, um, it'll be a noticeable drop. It won't be idle speed changing because it's the engine's warming up or anything. It'll be a noticeable drop and the engine will run rougher, especially down at these idle speeds. Um, and uh, the second part to this test is the first part confirms that there is a, a problem somewhere in your ignition system. One of, the, one of the cylinders is not getting the spark to actually fire. And uh, that could, the most likely, it's going to be the coil pack. But to rule out the possibility of it being the ECU or something else, it's very simple just to take two of the coils and swap them out like I've already done, which is why when I unplug this one, you don't notice anything. There's no change. This coil was in cylinder three, but I swapped it out and put it in cylinder one just to make sure that the dead cylinder followed the coil. 
so that way I know for sure that this coil pack is bad and that way I can replace the part I can be comfortable knowing that I have successfully diagnosed it and I'm not buying parts that I don't need and now we know that it is the coil pack I don't have to buy an ECU or anything I'm gonna uh, actually pull this coil pack out for you guys quick so you can see what they look like uh, they do come in a few different uh, shapes and sizes and whatever but after I let's get some light on that all right they're usually held in by one or two bolts these ones happen to be held in by a single bolt but it's it's basically just a black chunk on top of a uh, spark plug boot, an elongated spark plug boot. So we'll use the magnet and pick up that uh, bolt there so we can put it in a tray somewhere where we know where it is and don't lose it. And we can just pull the coil straight out. So now that I know that this is a bad coil, Harder to do this one-handed, but this is all it is. It's just an elongated spark plug boot, and I've already written bad on the back of it so I don't mix it up with any of the good ones. For this uh, particular vehicle, this 99 Maxima, I can get one of these for about 20 bucks online, and with 260,000 miles on this, uh, I don't. I'm not going to go and spend a whole bunch of money on a, all new coils and wires and whatever else but that's uh how you diagnose a, a coil pack that's gone bad and actually make sure it is the coil back and not the ECU or some other problem so again uh, one more time the symptoms of this were very similar very similar to uh if your spark plugs were worn down you'd get a quite a bit of chugging on idle your car would uh, it's almost as if you had a vacuum leak but there's no vacuum leak it's it runs really rough at idle it shakes it chugs there's a lot of excess vibration that shouldn't be there and uh, after I swap that out it'll be fixed and back on the road